Okay. Okay, so the class is arachnida. Arachnida are arthropod with two body divisions. Okay, the head and the cephalic cephalothorax. Okay, we'll stick on to that. So this is the classification of spider. So let's look at classification of crawfish. It does appear that the classification appears to be the same. Only here where the class appears not to be the same. So for crawfish, crawfish belongs to crustacea. Crustacea. Okay? Crustacea. Okay? Crustacea. So crustacea are arthropods that are mainly aquatic. Okay? But, but, arachnidas are terrestrial. So looking at the habitat now, one can now know the reason why a spider and crayfish belongs to separate, um, separate kind of a, a class or the same phylum, the same kingdom. Okay, now looking at this, this class will also help us to try to study their 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 respiratory as well as respiratory structure. Now the respiratory structure of crayfish or specimen D respiratory structure here. Respiratory, respiratory structure, respiratory structure, structure for D, which is crayfish, is gill, since they are aquatic. Okay? Then for C, it is trachea. It is what? Trachea. For C, it is trachea. Just like we have respiratory structure, then what if we ask a respiratory structure, a respiratory structure? Structure for C and D. Let me start with it. A spectral structure of crayfish, which is a class of crustacea, is green gland. Green gland. For D, green gland. For D, green gland. Green gland. Okay? Then for C, we have long, long book. Okay, long book. So, a structure, structure used for removing waste product of metabolism for crayfish, for crayfish, which is specimen D, is gray gland. Then, for spider, which is specimen C, is long book. But please take note of this, very important. Both the respiratory structure and the, and the, and the, a scriptory structure for both C and D. Okay, now one more question that we ask you is the differences between specimen C and D. But before we look at this difference between C and D, let's look at the observable feature of specimen D and C. Specimen D and C observable feature. Let's start with specimen C. For specimen C, which is a um, spider, so, you guess it's a okay. Your boss has said, 